time right now. All right, while that works, I'm going to switch my camera down to the table. Give me one sec. All right, there we go. And let me just change the resolution to high def. There you go. Okay, so if you guys want to pin my screen, I can become bigger on yours. So if you just click my little hand right here, and then you see a little pin icon, you guys can make me bigger on your screen, and then that will also fix any glitching issues that you might see on your end, especially if you're in a Chromebook. It'll make it so I'm not so glitchy if you pin me also. So over here, I have the art workbook. And then we're going to go over a couple pages today. We're actually going to go over three pages. And then we'll start off with some reviews of some stuff that we've done already. So a couple weeks ago, we went over line, which is great. You guys can turn the page. Last week, we worked on scissors. So it was a page that looked like this before. And then we cut it all up. So we did that last week. And today, I do want to talk about two things. I want to talk about glue. And I also want to talk about shapes. OK? But first, let's talk about glue. And we're going to be using our imagination and how glue works, OK? So let me just read this off to you guys. And I have a piece of plastic paper here, along with some hearts, to explain how glue works, OK? So here we go. Glue. Artists use glue to attach two pieces of art materials together. You don't need a lot of glue to make things stick. Let's see. So what I have here for you guys, and again, you don't have to do anything. All you got to do is watch. I have some hearts here, and I'm going to be gluing them inside this little plastic sheet because I want to show you guys what glue does. Okay, so let me read this next part real quick. It says, when we glue, we want to dot our glue and not puddle it. So use your glue bottle and make a little dotted line around the edge of the shape. So we're going to ignore that last part. I'm not going to do dotted line with glue. Um, but I am going to do at least a little dot. And I'm going to do a puddle so you guys can see the difference, OK? So I'm going to take, um, actually, no, let me do oranges first, OK? All right, now before I get started, this is a picture of Elmer's glue. Can anyone tell me what color Elmer's glue is normally? Can anyone raise their hand and tell me what color is glue normally uh, when you put it out? Luke, do you know what glue color glue is? White. Yeah, good job. So the reason why I'm not going to be using an Elmer's glue is because my table's white, and it'll be really hard to see on camera. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something a little bit more creative. I'm going to pretend that ketchup is my glue. I'm going to pretend that ketchup is my glue. Kind of weird, right? The reason why I'm pretending that ketchup is my glue is because it's red. And it kind of has the same texture as glue, but it's not going to stick, obviously. So what I'm going to do, glue. I'm going to, yeah, there is colored glue, but I don't have colored glue, so sorry. All right, so I'm going to open this up. If I if it would let me, hold on. So this is supposed to be just laminating paper, but I'm going to waste it because I want to demonstrate how glue works. All right, here we go. So what this project is telling us to do is to do a dot because that's all we're going to need, right? And it's telling us not to puddle it. So what I'm going to do, if this paper would cooperate, sorry, guys. Maybe I'll just hold it with this. Right, there we go. I'm going to do a dot, and then I'm going to do a puddle or like a big glue glob of pretend glue on each of them. So I'm going to shake up this ketchup bottle, and I'm going to pretend it's glue, OK? So I'm pretending, guys. It's not supposed to be glue, but I'm pretending it's uh, glue. So I'm going to do a little dot on this one. Oop. There we go. <laughs> That's more of a dot. Right, there we go. And then I'm going to pretend that this is the normal one of a normal glob of glue that sometimes people like to do. All right, that's a lot. All right. So let's predict. Can anyone tell me what's going to happen to the dot one and what's going to happen to the big puddle one when I close this uh, plastic sheet down? Because I don't know what's going to happen. K2, 
Kaylee, do you know what's going to happen? It's going to stick on. That's a good prediction. Anyone else? Brianna? It's going to splatter all over the hearts. Yeah. So Kaylee and Brianna are both correct. One, it's going to stick on. And two, it's going to spread real big. Let's see what happens. So again, we're pretending that this is glue. Okay. Because I'm trying to prove a point here. So I'm putting it down, and then next up is I'm going to start pressing. So I'm going to press on the dotted one, and then I'm going to press on this large one right here. All right. So can anyone tell me, which one was enough glue? Was the dot, was the dot enough glue, or was the puddle enough glue? Which one was enough glue for this project? Anyone know? Narosha? Where is Narosha? Did she sign off by accident? Oh, she did. Narosha, do you want to answer? Oh, uh, you're still muted, Narosha. The puzzle one is larger. Uh, not quite. Anyone want to help Narosha? Jaden? Jaden, Jaden L. I don't think he uh, can unmute himself. I'll give him another second. Jaden, which one is the better one? This one or the dotted one? The dotted one. Yeah, because notice how it didn't spread all over the place. And notice how it was just enough. All right, so I'm going to move a little bit quicker because we're running out of time here. Uh, the next one, it says, glue sticks are used the same way, except instead of a dotted line, we use a straight line. So it says, just go around the edge of the sheep with your glue stick. So let me just show you guys what happens here. So I'm going to use a purple heart this time for both of them. For one, I'm going to do a dot. And for the other one, I'm going to do an outline of the shape like it said. All right, there we go. You guys see that? So that was a glue stick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn them both over so they could stick to this plastic sheet of paper right here. There we go. And if I pick up my plastic sheet of paper, we can see which one works better already. So notice how the dotted one kind of like comes off the page a little bit. But then the one that I glued down fully works a lot better. So if I just turn this over, you guys can see that this one was way better than just the dot one. Okay. All right, so we only have four minutes left, so I'm going to try to speed up the pace here. All right, let's all turn the page to the next one, which should be shape. All right. So you're going to need your finger, and that's it, the finger in the packet. All right, so what we're going to do is very carefully and very quickly, we're going to trace your finger around each shape and say the name of each shape. We only have four to do. And then I'll talk about the next project, okay? So let's do this first one right here. So put your finger on this shape right here. And it's called a circle. So we're going to do it together. Ready? Here we go. Circle. Circle. Good job. I like how you guys are saying the words. I can tell by you guys having your mouths moving. All right, the next one is called a square. We're going to put our finger on the square. Any other side of the edge or in a corner, you can. And then we're going to trace it. Here we go. Square, square, good job. You guys are so smart. All right, we're gonna do the bottom one next. This is a long word. In order to say this, this is called a rectangle. So I'm gonna put my finger on the rectangle and I'm gonna say it together with you guys. Ready, here we go. Rectangle, rectangle. Good job, I like how you guys are talking with me. All right, the last one. Triangle. So we're going to say it together. Put your finger on the triangle, and here we go. Triangle. Triangle. Good work. All right. I'm going to flip the page. There's nothing for us to do over here. But you can already see I already kind of drew on the other side already because I did it with the last class. 
let's talk about what I did here. It says on this next page, what can you draw with these shapes? Make a drawing in the box below. So down here for the next two minutes, I want you guys to use these four shapes in a drawing of your choice. You could draw like an animal. You could draw a building, city, like how I did over here. I want you guys to draw whatever you want using just these shapes only. So a couple of weeks ago, we did one with just, uh, if I can show you guys, we did one with just line, right? This time, we're doing just shapes instead. So you guys can start right now if you guys would like. And I'm about to sign off in a little bit because it's almost time to go. So I'll let you guys do that. I'm going to switch my camera around so I can see you guys before I say goodbye. All right. And that's going to be the last thing we do today because we don't have enough time. All right. So this is me right here. I'm going to stop recording. And then I am going to head to first grade. All right. I'm going to stop recording.